Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys a Dollar Tree haul. Um, my little one and I went to Dollar Tree and we found some really cute stuff. So if you guys would like to see what we got, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so for this haul, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the grocery items that I got. Um, first thing I got were just these veggie straws, and this is the jalapeno flavor. I've never actually tried these in the jalapeno flavor, so I really wanted to give them a shot. Um, I don't know if my kids will actually eat this, depending on if it's more on the smoky side or more on the spicy side. They're not really into anything too spicy, so we'll have to see about that, but if not, I'll eat them. Then I went ahead and got these TGI Fridays Party Bites. Um, they're just like cheese puffs, basically. These are the Buffalo Ranch flavor. We've had these before, and we really, really like them, so I went ahead and grabbed another bag of those. Then I went ahead and got these Dinner Mints. Um, I really, really like these, and I can never find them for some reason, so I went ahead and got two Two bags and these will actually last us a long time so so it's always a nice find when I can find these next thing I got was just some of these Lance crackers I got these for snacks and lunch boxes um, my kids really love these ones with the peanut butter inside so I just wanted to pick up a pack since I saw them the next thing I got was just some Lance cookies these ones are in vanilla and then I have one in lemon as well again my kids really love these just snack on here and there or to pop into lunch boxes I like these because they're smaller packs so I just don't like giving my kids too many cookies at a time so those are nice next few things I got were just these puzzles I have three here we actually got four we got two of these um, except for the other one has 48 pieces and it's a Avengers one so my son already took it because he really really wanted to put it together so I let him have it but these ones all three of these are just 24 pieces my son is three and a half and these are just easy enough and just hard enough to make it a good activity for him um, he really enjoys doing it believe it or not I know this box says five plus but like I said he really really enjoys these and they're not too hard for him especially the ones that are 24 pieces the 48 piece is a little bit more difficult and takes him more time but these ones are really really nice for him and also I was happy to see that some of these are educational so I really really enjoy getting these for him all right guys really quickly I also want to show you this I've seen these so many times on Instagram and I'm so jealous because every time I go to the Dollar Tree I can never find any any planner stickers I was so happy that I found just this one tucked away somewhere and so I really wanted to pick it up so this is like my gem for the day I think <laughs> um, I'm really really happy with it like I said and I can't wait to use it so major major bonus right here All right guys, so the last part of this haul is just actually Christmas stuff. I will say I didn't get too much today and I don't normally buy Christmas stuff this early. Main reason being because I don't really like to store it outside of my actual Christmas stuff and my Christmas stuff is all nicely packed away and I'm not gonna drag it out just so I can put this stuff in here. I usually tend to wait till closer to Thanksgiving to start like buying anything that I do need or want for Christmas. However, I'm not an avid Dollar Tree shopper, but I guess like when stuff comes out, it doesn't get restocked. I'm not sure if that's true, but everyone says you just kinda gotta snatch it up right away. And if you don't, you kinda just have to wait till the next season. So I don't know if that's true, like I said, but I thought I would get some stuff anyways because it's really cute and really well priced. So the first thing I got was just this cute little burlap snowman. This is an ornament and I might use it as an ornament, but if not, I'll go ahead and use it it, um, in my little centerpiece I showed you guys and I will link it up here for you guys my Thanksgiving slash fall centerpiece um, I'm going to change that into Christmas once it's time and I might use this guy on there and this is also a ornament um, this one is like just wood made out of wood and it's got just like Merry Christmas in glitter on it and then has a little cute little Santa face. Um, I got this one because I think I'll probably use it on that centerpiece but if not then I might hang it somewhere around the house. I probably won't put it on the tree because it is pretty big if you guys can see. Alright next thing I got was just this really cute little it says hotel on it so it's a cute little hotel I guess and it's just really Christmas themed 
zoomed out, it's got some snow and some wreaths on it. And then, oops. And then when you turn it around, it's just kind of the back of it. And I like that the back is actually detailed as well. And then when you turn it around, it looks like it has a spot for a bulb. I don't know if you stick this over Christmas lights or if you maybe just stick it on a night light. I'm not really sure, you guys. Again, I just thought it was really cute. For the Dollar Tree, for only being a dollar, this is really, really nice. So I grabbed it. I think I might use it on the centerpiece. I might try to find a few more, maybe hit up a few other Dollar Trees and see if I can find some different ones. They did have a house, but it wasn't as like Christmas themey, I guess, as this one, so I didn't grab it. It is plastic, just in case you're wondering. Really, it's hollow and it's really, really light, so I really like it. I think it's adorable. All right, next thing I grabbed was just this cute little cathedral ornament. Um, it's kind of, it's glittery. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of like a white iridescent glitter. Then it has just some little... Um, pine branches on there with some berries and again I don't know if I'm going to use this as a ornament or if I'm actually going to put it on my centerpiece I just really really liked it so I grabbed it all right guys next find that I got was just these two little I think these are doves right they're decoration for sure and they do have some glitter on if you guys can see that a lot of the things that I saw had glitter on it I'm not gonna lie so it was kind of hard to stay away from the glitter but these are very very light I think they're made out of styrofoam actually but they do have feathers on them um, and I definitely got these ones for my Christmas themed centerpiece that I can't wait to make I thought this would just be a really cute addition to it for just some you know like live creatures I guess um, but yeah all right guys, so next thing I have is just this burlap ribbon. It's just a roll of ribbon and there's nine feet in it. Um, I got this, I thought this was cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as decor or if I'm actually gonna use this as just an accent on maybe some gifts. We usually do gifts for our teachers and this is the kind of thing that I would add to kind of spruce it up. I just really like the way it looked. It's really festive, but it's kind of got that farmhouse feel to it with the burlap. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to see how I actually do end up using it. All right guys, so last thing I got were just these fake flowers. These are most definitely for for my um, centerpiece. Uh, the first ones that I grabbed were just these. These are kind of like a really light gold kind of champagne colored flower. And when you turn them over, they just look like this. They got some glitter on the inside and I just really like the way that they look. Um, these are on the stem. I don't usually use them on the stem. I tend to just take some wire cutters and cut them off and poke them wherever I want to in my decor. Um, the next one I got were just these white ones. I think these are like white fabric poinsettias um, and they have some like gold glitter on a few of the leaves and then on the inside. Again, I just really like the way that they look and yeah, I wanted to have a variety of colors so I tried to do that. Then I have some of these. Um, I don't even know what these are. They're like golden berries or just little gold balls. I don't know. And then the leaves on them are a little bit more on the shiny side. I kind of like that. Um, I like to use sparkly stuff, so yeah. And I got another one, but this one is just in red. And then you guys, I almost didn't find this because it was tucked away and there was like literally only one, but I found this, the leaves on here, some of them have kind of like a white rim to it, I guess you would call it, I don't know but it was just very wintry and I liked it. It also has the little um, winter berries there. These ones are like a red and they are glittery. And then it has pine cones, which have a little bit of red glitter sprinkled over them. All right guys, so the absolute last thing that I got today, of course I had to get some red poinsettias. So I decided to get these ones. They had several different kinds there. These ones are more of a like velvet kind of velour or whatever, I don't really know. Um, feel to them and then they had some that were more like the leaves on here which kind of like shiny plasticky I just thought these ones were nice and that they would look good in my centerpiece because they're bright and big and they would be good for like those little you know spots that need the filler so all right guys so there's my Dollar Tree haul I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and or maybe even found it helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up down below and if you guys are new here I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family here and you guys thank you so so much for joining me today I will see you guys in my next video bye